One is explosion, one is explodables, one is explosive. Now that I'm correcting them, tomorrow they'll bring the rest because um, one of them is explosives. And, uh, yeah, so there are five in number. Currently, I'm writing a book called Humility. Humility. And um, yesterday, yesterday I, was, I was writing it, I got tired and I left it. I'm on page 96. And uh, <laughs> yesterday I was writing about every knee shall bow of things in heaven. So I finished with things in heaven and of things on earth. So I'm not talking about things on earth. The things on earth that bow at the name of Jesus. So I'm writing on the kind of things that bow at the name of Jesus on earth. Of course, Satan is one. Then fallen angels and demons. And then human beings, good and bad. Then I'll be talking about um, yeah, the things that bow. Nature is one of them. They bow at the name of Jesus. So, But the whole thing on the humility of Jesus is how he emptied himself. So I finished writing on the emptying process. And I'm now talking about the exaltation process. Okay. So, but, but it's interesting. And the emptying process has to do with the kenosis of Jesus. The, how he made himself of no reputation. And I've come to one conclusion that human beings are very proud. If I went, when I was writing that book, when I, as I write the book, I just realized that the human being, everything about us is pride. You see, God became a man to save us. But we are human beings and we are trying to be God. The whole of the human being's problem is trying to be God. And from Garden of Eden, the devil knew it. So he said, the day you eat this fruit, you will be like God. And the devil himself said, I'll be like the most high. So we and devil, there's something, no, we are the same. Tell somebody sitting by you, do you look like the devil? No, listen. When they insult us, look at the way it pains us. It's pride. If you are not proud and they insult you, why are you so angry? When your savior himself, they spat on him. And they put crown of thorns on him. And they knelt down in front of him and they said, behold the king of the Jews. They mocked so I'm doing, I'm doing the one on pride, and uh, it's going to be quite a big book. I, yeah, I think it will be bigger than this one. At least it will be bigger than this. So try and get some of these books, read them, and then you'll be blessed. Amen. Today I'm going to be speaking on the recognition anointing, eh? recognition anointing or recognizing anointing. Now that means that when the anointing is on you, Somebody has to recognize it, and um, I, was, I just took this book. Um, in the in the normally when I'm preaching, I when you tell me to come and preach, most of the time I don't know what topic you are going to give me, and I can't find in one of my books, so I don't disturb myself at all. I just look for one of the books, and then I just see where can I go. And this one, I fell on chapter 8 of this book. And the chapter 8 is called The Novel Disciples. Novel Disciple. Novel is something you haven't seen before. It's new. It's new. You don't know its nature. You don't know how it operates. You, you don't even understand it. So they call something like the COVID-19 virus. They call it the, 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 they call it the Novel Coronavirus. So human beings were struggling to understand what this virus was all about. And before they could tackle it here, it would mutate into that one. They tried to tackle it here, it would mutate into something else. So they call it the novel coronavirus. But 
human beings were a certain way until a novel human being appeared and that novel human being created other novel disciples and this novel human being who appeared was Jesus Christ so now everything he did the man was a novel human being and then his ministry was novel ministry Mark chapter 1 from verse 23 to 28 Mark 1 23 to 28 now this man was there ministry was taking place long before people Moses had his ministry Elijah had his ministry um, people had ministries e Elisha um, yeah all of them working miracles prophets came Isaiah Jeremiah Habakkuk Malachi all of them then this man appears and the people have never seen somebody like him before he came he he said the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach but the man was a novel kind of person and there was in their synagogues a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out now this man with the unclean spirit I don't think this is the first time he went to church he used to go to the synagogue and I'm sure he and the priest used to exercise sorry they used to exchange greetings let me tell you this I don't know the last time you went to church on Sunday and heard the sermon on demons and the devil no but right now where we are sitting there are devils here no they are in some of you they are in your pocket they are in your handkerchief some of you your handbag is full of demons your heart your eyes hmm. I remember Peter writing about some people who said their eyes are full of adultery so there are some of you, even your eyes are full of lust, fornication, adultery. Hey. So there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. But this man with the unclean spirit had been there long, never cried out. Never. Until a man with an anointing he could recognize. You see, demons have the power to recognize oil. I don't know whether demons have recognized your oil before. Some of you are there, oh, oh, Wait until the devil tells you you are anointed. So far as human beings who are talking, but the devil himself must say it. You remember Paul and others. They are walking. A woman with the spirit of divination. She said, these are the anointed messengers of God that preach the word of God. That means even the devils have recognized the oil. So there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out, I pray that the anointing that is on your head will begin to make demons cry out. May you enter the airplane and demons will start crying out. Yeah. You sit in the throat, throat, demons are crying out. Yeah. You enter the shop, others enter, they run out. Yeah. Because they recognize the anointing that is upon you. Listen to me. The anointing on us is too friendly. No, even witches can marry us. Sometimes I hear a Christian say, you marry the witch. Where was your anointing when you married the witch? Does it mean your anointing disappeared? It should be impossible for a witch or wizard to marry you. If you embrace a witch, the witch should burn into charcoal. Yeah. 
No, we go to restaurants. And instead of witches crying out, they serve us. What will you eat? What will you eat? Samosa? Vegetable spring roll? These are witches taking your order. Instead of you giving them orders. You should be ordering demons instead of they taking your order. Can you clap and scream at all? We'll be serving communion in the churches. Now, no, look, 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 Jack. Moment can you crew. Problems our church. Can I tell you this? If a group of witches meet tonight, midnight, and you are not a witch, you can't join the meeting. No, no, no. If you get up, you, if witches who suck human blood and drink blood, when they meet and they've gathered, you get, get up and you are not one of them and just appear there by mistake, they will add you to whatever they are eating. I want to ask a question. How come witches take communion in our churches and, and they are comfortable? Sometimes they didn't come for double. They eat the communion once, they go, they return. Am I, shall I continue? But I think this is enough. Which is Marius? Hmm. They enter business agreement with us. Hey. They give us lift in the Aka. And we give them lift. <laughs> we go to them to borrow money. They employ us. And the neighbor who could this get through, now in business, in the year, or this get through, we are. We na uye juma no mano. Ama onye sikano. No, they are going to sacrifice them. So the believer is the one who is feeding the demonic and ritualistic altar of the ritualist. Because you are the one working for them. Without you. The money they even get, they can't get it. And watch this. When they go and chop the juju and finish, and they are charming people to come and buy from them, you are one of the customers. So you know what? Instead of when the demons see us, instead of crying out, they patronize us. Shall we, share, shall we share the grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of God. So every day you are busy sharing the grace with witches. And I don't know about potters, but they are in all our, they are in most of our churches. <laughs> if there will be a wedding this Saturday, I can assure you some of the Christians are going to marry witches and wizards. And the pastor who is blessing the wedding will unite them. Hey. Members in Yefra as of when Yefra. Blind people are leading blind. And in the case of the Pharisees and the leaders, the blind were leading the blind until the one who could see came. And it was not only, it wasn't only the fact that he could see, the demons too could see. They knew that this is a novel person. That this one is different from the other pastors. He's different from the other synagogue attenders. That this one was different. I pray that after today, may they know you are different. May they experience you are different. Come and scream like I'm talking to you. shaking his hands he cried out 
in our case they shake our hands they even embrace us no which is witches and wizards they hug us every day we shake our hands <laughs> verse 24 and he said let us alone now so the demons have recognized the anointing on the man and they are screaming leave us alone what have we to do with you they are saying we have nothing to do with you in your case they have everything to do with you from business to marriage <laughs> what have we to do thou Jesus of Nazareth so you know what man of God they recognize what even the Pharisees couldn't recognize the Pharisees did not know that Jesus Jesus the son of God who is Jesus of Nazareth the Pharisees could not he said what have we to do with you thou Jesus of Nazareth had thou come to destroy us because they knew that the son of God would destroy them when the hour comes and they said at a certain point have you come to destroy us before our time so these people from eternity when God created spirits at a certain point they knew that there was a son of God who was coming upon the face of the earth who would destroy them they knew him they knew the time they knew what was happening and religious leaders and Pharisees and priests did not know so demons can recognize an anointing Christians and leaders cannot recognize I pray may God make you recognize an anointing come and clap your hands and scream like I'm preaching now demons are more spiritual than the religious leaders of the time the religious leaders of the time were looking at Jesus in the flesh Jesus the, 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 the of Nazareth Jesus the son of Joseph his father is a carpenter his brothers and sisters they are with us they could not recognize this son of God who had made himself of no reputation they could not recognize God who had made himself man and was walking anonymously on the earth so what the priest could not decipher what the religious leaders could not know demons and devils could recognize that anointing and they said you are Jesus of Nazareth you are like the son of the carpenter but we can see more than that you are the son of God you are the Messiah you are the destroyer of demons and the destroyer of devils we recognize you I pray in the name of Jesus may you know what pastors don't know may you know what prophets don't know may you know what teachers don't know may you know what apostles don't know may you know what evangelists don't know may you know what religious leaders don't know if you can shout that blessing is upon you in the church synagogue the demon knew what the priest did not do the demon saw this is the messiah this is the breaker the demon destroyer the priest did not know have you come to destroy us even the priest did not know that this man is a demon destroyer look at this i know thee who thou art you are jesus of nazareth but you are the holy one of god look at what the demon knows look at look at the level of revelation of a demon are you not embarrassed oh if i was the priest i'll be ashamed after today when i finish teaching you are going to pray that father may demons 
recognize the anointing of me. May demons recognize the anointing of me. May demons recognize the anointing of me. Come on, shout and praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. I know you. I know you. So the demons knew him. I know you. I know you. Who thou art? The Holy One of God. Holy One of God. The demons knew it. Oh. Do demons know you? Pastor, men know you, but do demons? Devil, does he know you? Bonsam onimo. As I'm kicking the mibisa. Members in him, they are all giving testimony. Have demons testified about you before? When was the last time a devil recognized your anointing? When was the last time which is new that you were different from them? <laughs> Prophet, yeah. maybe I can't see me. It's a mystery. <laughs> when a ritualist or a wizard has a property like a hall and you are a church and you go to rent it for a church meeting and he gives it to you, what does it mean? It means he knows you are not a church. And he knows that also for the only who because we can't say me Why are we a Christian? I be full of a Jew hall at the Ayan Shimua over Penny. If you are a Christian and witches come to you that they want to rent your hall to be meeting, will you give it to them? So, why is it that wizards and witches and ritualists are giving us halls and their classrooms and their other places to do church? It means that Omundim say you knew. Mama Ivy, sometimes they'll give us the hall for church service and they are staying upstairs. Because they know, say, Empire Yebon, and then they. Why are we just witches and wizards giving you a loan interest free? They know that she cannot find your fee in the kingdom of God. They know that the money they are giving you is going to destroy you. And you will never use it for the things of God. They, they know you are just a comedian. Otherwise, I tell you the truth. If you are a proper Christian with kingdom agenda, an unbeliever may never give you money. Now, I pay you for crap. I was I like the way you are staring at me, and that's because you were not expecting something like this. I know thee who thou art, the holy one of God. I mean. This is something, Mama Ivy. Demons knew. Demons saw the man and they are like, you know what? This guy, this Jesus of Nazareth, or that guy again, he's made himself Jesus of Nazareth, son of a carpenter. His mother is called Mary. The brothers and the sisters are with us. He has made himself of no reputation, but we know him. He is the Holy One. Holy One of God! in the name of Jesus may the oil of your life be recognized by demons, principalities and powers and devils come on shout the loudest shout verse 25 but I am sure that there are some of you too 
If the devil had recognized that anointing, I'm sure you'll be very proud. Look at this. Even demons know me. But not this one. He is not interested in demons recognizing him because he knew himself. <laughs> look at you. Look at you. You accept praise from everybody, including witches. Oh, mommy, you should rather be saying hold your peace and come out of it and come out of it look at you demonic men their eyes full of lust they see oh mommy who have a power can be me kunu anka she who kunu anka she in tia a beifu e kan fo o ti may o dede dede May the Lord make you repent and know who should recognize you and who should say it and you will accept it. There are some people when they tell you you are intelligent and they tell you you are handsome and they tell you you are beautiful and they tell you you are anointed. Look at them and say hold your peace and come out of him in the name of Jesus. Come on shout a yes and praise. saying hold your peace and come out of it verse 26 and when the unclean spirit had torn him <laughs> this unclean spirit when it was in the, 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 the man in the absence of Jesus it was intact when Jesus rebuked him he tore the man the container tore him up he cried with a loud voice and came out of him Verse 27. And they were all amazed. In so much that they questioned themselves saying, What thing is this? Meaning, <laughs> What is this? My magic. What thing is this? Because you see, all the years they've been coming to church. And the priest has never cast out the devil. All these years, they've never seen their pastor cast out the devil. All these years, they never knew that demons could enter human beings like this. I don't think this demoniac was a madman. They would have driven him out of the synagogue. He was full of a demon, but the person was normal. And it is likely it was a religious demon. That is why he's talking about you, holy child of God. Because there are many people in our churches who have got religious demons. What, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? This is novel. What novel doctrine is this? I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, novel doctrine, novel teachers, novel men of God, novel believers are about to come into the world. I'm talking about very soon we will see this order in the church very soon the order in the church will be turned to this order very soon the normalcy in the church will be turned into abnormality very soon in the church the thing we call decency will be turned into chaos i see a time coming and it will not be far from now when believers men of god and women of god that are filled with the holy ghost that carry an anointing the devil can recognize they will be in our churches and in the middle of a sermon demons will be crying out and in the midst of the grace when we are sharing the grace demons will cry out and in the midst of an offering demons will be crying out come on scream like your voice is yours and pray is this hey i tell you a new doctrine is coming 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 you know what the doctrine we know is the nice doctrine that is packaged 
and given to us in the Bible school. That nice doctrine. Old Testament survey. New Testament survey. That nice doctrine. Hermeneutics, homiletics. That, 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 that nice doctrine. Eschatology. Trinity. Bible history. That, that nice doctrine. But a new doctrine is coming. Which is not turned to Matthew 6 5. But it is hold your peace and come out of him and come out of her. A new doctrine is coming. And that doctrine is casting out devils. Come on, clap your hands, scream and pray. What? 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 What is this? What? new doctrine is this for with authority he commanded even the unclean spirits and they do open because you see in these people's minds nobody could command unclean spirits and they would obey until this man appeared but me Matthew 9, 32 to 34. Matthew 9, 32 to 34. Hey, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Agunechema, Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah. Amen. As they went out, behold, they brought him a dumb man possessed with a devil. They brought him a dumb man possessed with a devil. They brought him. Who are the people they bring to us? Who are they? Who are the people they bring to us? The, the modern day pastor. Who brings in a dumb man possessed with the devil? They would rather take those people to the prayer warrior. Pastor doesn't receive these people. Also, many pastors, after service, if the pastor is sitting in his office and they come and tell him, Sir, there is somebody who is dumb. And as a demon, another person has got first fruit, first fruit, and tithe. These people want to see the pastor. The one who has the devil and is dumb. They brought him, they want to see the pastor. Another person has got first fruit. He works in the petroleum industry. And he's got first fruit and tithe. He too wants to see the pastor. And then a third one needs Holy Ghost baptism. All the three want to see the pastor. Prophet, oh, out of these three, which will the pastor see? <laughs> Prophet, oh, or this one, Albert, and Crawford, which one do you think? No, cannot grow. First fruit. Lion of Judah, Akunechepa, Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Akunechepa. Hey, the pastor who said they should bring the time and the first fruit <laughs> they should take the dump with the demon to prophet Livingston and the one who needs the Holy Ghost baptism they should send him to the discipleship pastor <laughs> listen to me the way 
extent of your ministry as a pastor is determined by the kind of people they bring to you. No, no, no. Pastor, pastor, when was the last time they brought you somebody with cancer? When was the last time they brought you somebody and said, this person confesses he's a wizard? Man of God, remove the spirit. for every stupid thing. Look, they go and commit adultery and they go and commit adultery and finish and they say they had an affair. Is that foreign affairs or what? What could we do who say affairs? Listen. With pride, they have sugar-coated evil. an affair oh we are in a relationship you are not in a relationship you are under bondage they are walking about fornicating everywhere when you ask them they say we are going out me and this brother me and this brother, we are going up. Bo Jemo. Have nice. Listen, people have got temper, which makes them like madmen. Instead of casting, casting out the devil, they say anger management. Manage. You are managing demon it out before he kills somebody. <laughs> Fun, nicely. Now, nicely. So you see, when, when, when I talk about these things, you would think that it was only in the days of Jesus they were in the church. I want to tell you, these people possessed with devils are sitting in our churches. People borrow money, never pay. He's a demon. People stand in church. Lift up money. They know this is not one tenth of their money. They know it's not one tenth. It's not a tithe. They know it's not even up to two percent. They say, Lord, I'm bringing my tithe. Peter said, why has the devil filled your heart? Why has Satan filled your heart to lie unto God? You have to lie to the Holy Ghost. You have not lied unto man, but you have lied unto God. And he said, why has Satan filled your heart to lie 
unto God. So you see, when you are holding something which is not 10% and it's 2%, but you call it 10%, it's not a financial weakness and it's not financial lack. This one is a devil. Satan has filled your heart. You are possessed. You are possessed. Paul is writing to Timothy. He said, Timothy, don't take young ladies into the ministry because when you take them into the ministry and they are walking about, he said, after they've dedicated themselves to God, at a certain point, they will turn aside after Satan. And they will move from house to house, speaking things they shouldn't speak. So you know what? Gossip is not a weakness. It's demon possession. Gossip. Gossip. Lie. No, these are demonic things. Am I teaching? And behold, they brought him a dumb man, possessed with the devil. Who would have referred them to deaf and dumb school? Listen, that is sad. And this one, I say it with sadness. Prophet, it is sad when pastors and churches are referring cases to hospital, instead of hospitals referring the cases to churches and pastors. No. That, is, that is why we have to pray these 70 days, fasting and prayer. Because we need the church to be the last stop. We need the church to be. That means, if there's a problem and the church cannot solve it, it means the problem is impossible to solve. It means no hospital can solve it. No bank can solve it. No law firm can solve it. How about that? I'm saying how about that? That is where we should get to. Verse 33. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb man speak. So it means some of the cases where ch children cannot speak, delay child, delay speech, and all those things. Some of it is demonic. You can cast out the devil. You can cast out the demon. The demon can cause somebody not to speak. And as I speak right now and pray, I rebuke every deaf and dumb spirit. Any spirit that has held anybody captive and the person cannot speak, I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. And I command it to come out. I rebuke every blind spirit, every crippled spirit, every spirit of paralysis and stroke. I rebuke every demonic entanglement and I command it to lose his hold in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout yes and praise. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. Novel human being, novel apostle, novel minister. We've never seen anything like it in Israel. Moses didn't show it, Elijah didn't show it, Elisha didn't show it. This is new. I pray, I announce you are the novel man. Your ministry is new, your life is new, the anointing of God on you is new. Come on, shout. I am a novel human being. I am a novel human being. I am a novel human being. I am a novel human being, and I explode with the power of God. Come on, scream and then pray. Listen. You have been anonymous for too long. Demons omumbu omuhu kra no musresre. No mami misa asa. Misa. What dem ni say or be worry what how will you feel? You feel insulted. And that is because you think that the, the madman is possessed. What about the witches who are marrying you? And the wizards who are marrying you? 
bro, they marry you, they do wedding with you. And you even hold a reception on top for them. And then you go on honeymoon with them. Eh? Mumu bebre waha. O hairdresser, eh, brief. O yes, you ti home out. O baba cry, eh, brief. <laughs> you go to hospital and the doctor who is looking after you is a wizard and the nurse is a wizard nipa oma injection no cry we Acts chapter 19, verse 13. And certain vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon themselves to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preached. <laughs> These are vagabonds. They decided that they are going to cast out devils <laughs> in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. Verse 14. And they were the sons of one skiver, a Jew, a chief of the priest, which they show. So these people, their father was a priest. And the evil spirit answered, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Are you? I need further introduction. Can you <coughs> send me your CV by WhatsApp? <laughs> I need to see that. <laughs> Produce your ID. Where's your Ghana card? <laughs> Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. That means we recognize the anointing on Jesus and we recognize the anointing on Paul. Listen, a very young one, one, send me preach at the UV. A free neck call. I pay you for a one, they will react. Listen, you will sit in the plane and the air hostess or steward, who is a wizard or witch, when they show them your lane. They will change, they will swap places with another one. For some reason, they will tell their neighbor, um, today let's change. And that's because they can imagine, they can see danger man and danger woman on that road. I pray from today, you are a threat to the kingdom of the devil. You are a threat to the kingdom of God. You are a threat. Listen, listen. I was saying, and you are yeah. Say Adam on the end, Nimu. Jesus, I know. Paul, we know. By you, who are you? When the devil was telling us about the danger man, your name was not mentioned. The devil didn't tell us you are one of the dangerous Christians. We don't know you. They pounce on them, tore them, and beat them. They ran away naked. Because the demons realized they had nothing. So they beat them up. But you see, the worst one is when they know you have nothing, but they don't beat you. No, some of you don't know that your case is worse than the sons of Skiva. In the case of the sons of Skiva, eh, they beat them up and they ran away. So if they were in the church, they left. If they were in the ministry, they left. But in your case, they are not beating you up. And they still allow you to do whatever you want to do. And every day you are standing there in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the demons have told themselves that. Don't be so many of our churches. The devil has told the demons, don't disturb them. 
they have enough demons among themselves to render themselves ineffective and to, to destroy one another so don't even disturb don't disturb yourself by going there let me finish like this I want to finish because you have had enough for the day Jude verse 8 may the car send me in, in Jude may the car send me the send me likewise also these filthy dreamers defiled the, defiled the flesh and they despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. Verse number nine. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, disputed about the body of Moses, does not bring railing accusations against him. But he said, the Lord rebuke you. Let's stop here. Now, this is a scripture everybody knows. That when Moses died, and archangel Michael and then Lucifer or the devil, they disputed over the body of Moses so the devil wanted the body of Moses to be exposed so that the people of Israel will worship where the body is buried but Archangel Michael was the one who was sent to come and officiate the burial ceremony and do the burial so that the children of Israel will not know where it was so Archangel Michael is here to bury the body to make sure that the children of Israel don't know where the body is otherwise they won't worship it. But the devil is there to contend. That means angels, archangels and the devil, archangel and the devil recognize the dead body of Moses. Some of you listen. You will be anonymous and even your corpse will be anonymous. Eh. Even up till the time you die, the dead bodies are not the same. When Stephen died, devout men carried his body to the burial. Mumu biom. Your anointing is so anonymous. Ukra tangas, then a best one. Tangas. Tangas are way before gun. Oh no, that's Who to me ukra na before a jaw or corpse in 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 the mug. Now more three months for three years now that mug. Because even your body they will not respect it i pray in the name of jesus any christian whose body dead body has been hijacked by unbelievers and they are using it for commercialization and merchandise to get money and they've held it in the mock and instead of burying the body they are from court to court and sometimes three years four years five years they left the dead body lying in the mock and they are in argument i pray let god arise and let his enemies be scattered i pray in the name of jesus that even the dead body of that believer will receive some honor listen god forbid that one day when you are dead people will use your corpse for business and for litigation and for fighting among themselves because while you are you were alive you were cheap you died and you are still cheap when you come to my hometown among the frafras even the dead body of a person they don't take it for granted the people who are very powerful are have been in my village not today these young young people who don't know power when i was a child the people who had let me say did the edro omwe di edro past tenses omwe they did when they carry them you see them pulling people backwards they go three steps forward and go five steps back 
we don't know whether they were pretending but it was real a journey that could take about 30 minutes would take about seven hours because even their dead body having to get up dead bodies who get up and slap somebody and sleep again in your case when you are dead you are dead some of you even the resurrection you won't get up over that's a rapture ground sir when they are dead I will raise them up at the rapture that means at the rapture your body will be recognized they will get to the cemetery they can recognize your body by that time if your body has disintegrated your body has decomposed they are mixed up with the soil and the sand they are mixed up with the rocks so if a lion ate you up or a tiger ate you up one leg went here one hand went here one went here oh my god bone will come together with bone you will be recognized wherever you are and they will pick you up and the dead in Christ uh, shall rise up first come and clap your hands and scream like your voice is your they will look at that body and say this dead body is not like the other bodies Jesus he was so anointed after he died death could not hold him captive and God did not suffer his holy one to see corruption listen you will be so different that even in your death and Archangel Michael and the devil will still recognize that this body is different Angel Michael knew that this dead body is different. Yes, yes. <laughs> the devil knew that this body is different. I pray. May hell recognize you. Amen. Prophet, when I was in the university, I've told this story many, many times. When I was in the university, final year, I was about to finish school. I was with Reverend Clement Ancheba in the same room. I had a revelation, and the revelation, God showed me hell. I don't think anybody wants to go there. The fire was hot. Everywhere was blazing fire. The only thing is that the things that were in hell were not burning. Mm. No, the thing is burning you, but you won't be burnt. Wow. And they have put posters all over the walls. Wanted. Like the way in cowboy or western movie, they say wanted. Um, the way or something, wanted. On all the walls they are written, wanted is to another. Then they put under there, marked out for destruction. So wanted is to the number. Then put there, marked out for destruction. Ah. I was in this revelation for hours. And I saw horses were moving. Demonic entities with horns. Some of them looked black. They were moving through the fire. They are looking for his to the number. I was just about 26 years old. Wanted is to run about. Marked out for destruction. In hell. So, I got up from the revelation. Reverend Clement Anjaba had gone for lectures. I took pieces of paper, cards, and I remember they were blue in color. Because blue is a color for heaven. So I took a heavenly color. And I wrote on the sheets, I rebel against the council of hell. 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 I rebel against
against the council of hell. I wrote, I wrote plenty of them and I put them on the walls. Put them on the walls. So I put them on the walls in the room. And then Pastor Clement came from lectures. He spoke Hausa language. Abochi, Wanabukega. My friend, what are these? I said, Clement. I should call him Clement. I said, Clement. I saw him. He said, wanted. He stood on Anaba. Marks are for destruction. That is why I've written here. But I rebel against the council of hell. I rebel against their council. So I said, my friend, pray for me. Because they've marked me out. But you see, the consolation is that I was glad that hell knew about me. And the devil knew about me. And I was also pleasantly happy and glad that the devil can see me as enough threat to his kingdom for them to write about me like that. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. No, 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 no. I don't know whether you want to pray this prayer. And your prayer topic be an airball. Jack, when you're sure, and pray and more. I want you to pray that from today, let devils recognize the anointing of my life and let them declare it. You see, and son of a vampire, be some who said when they recognized Peter in the house of the priest and they said, This is one of them. What did Peter do? Ask yourself whether you want to be walking about like this. You see, it's better for you to be like this. When they don't recognize you, they don't know you, they don't say anything to you. And you are your own devil. Because I'm telling you, if they recognize you, the attacks they bring on you is different. But the amount of the power of God you also see will be different. Can I hear somebody shout and amen? How many of you want to pray that prayer? But listen to me. The devil is so smart that this prayer. I don't want any devil to associate me with this man. At least with him. But I can't cry. More than the money I saw for an amano. And I'm here, me, 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 I saw for no PR. And I'm here, no protocol. And I'm here, um, so for no administrator. And I mean, I'm here, head singer. And who has a post? And your post, though. We are target. You are target. So they told them, they said, he's one of them. He, he. Peter said, well, I've been the kuna fadi ngaba, but I have never heard this thing you are talking about. But mm. I've never heard this. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Now watch this. Watch this. You are praying that they will recognize the anointing. And when you rebuke them, they will flee. Not just recognition, not by way of just identification. But they will identify. And when you command them, they will obey. Begin to pray. Pray. No demons hiding around you. No demons hiding around you. No demons being anonymous around you. In the name of Jesus, come and pray.
Theater. Some people say it was a temple of idols. And the Bible said about 3,000 men gathered. And they said, Samson will come and make sport so that they will laugh at him. And the man of God was making sport and they were laughing until he told the little boy, he said, Lead me to the two pillars that are holding this building together. And he stood at those pillars and said, Lord, avenge me this once. And he leaned on the pillars to the left and to the right. And the whole stadium came down. Listen to me. 
witches and wizards have mocked you for too long. If you are following me online, I want you to take some anointing oil. If you are following me online, take the anointing oil. And if you are in this building, I need two bowls of anointing oil. One for me and one for prophet. And I pray tonight an anointing is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a recognition anointing that after today witches and wizards cannot make a mockery of you. Amen. Man of God, one day mommy and I went to visit a pastor in a hospital who was sick and he was dying. When I went there, what I saw, the man's tongue had come out of his mouth. It was like he was gasping for air and almost looking for a drop of water to fall on the tongue. He was moving the eyes at the tongue like somebody in torment. The Lord opened my eyes. I saw the demons had surrounded this man and they were laughing at him. We prayed. When we left, I told my wife, I said, this level of mockery by a man of God from hell, God should help the man. Papa, Papa, no, and chain will free me. But I'm telling you, he's dead. The demons were just mocking. Some of you, they mocked you for too long. But the last time they mocked you like that was yesterday. coming upon 12 of you 12 of you first some of you are watching me online something is happening to you those 12 represent a novel group of disciples like the 12 disciples and 12 apostles and after tonight we will be the most dangerous people that ever walked the face of the earth Father, give me the 12 in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. Oil is dropping on your head. Take now. Receive it. Ah, let it flow. Take it right now. Ushers, I'm looking for 12 people. Bring them to me. Bring them straight to me. Hey, Lion of Judah. Hakuna Chamba Yeshua Amashi Lion of Truth Hakuna Chamba Right now Yeshua Amashi Lift up those hands. I'm left with six people. All just find them because they are there already. They are there in the congregation. Six of them bring them to me. Now, now find them. There is a sign on them. Hurry up. I have only three minutes for this phase of the administration. Bring them to me quickly. There is fire on your head. The Holy Ghost. 
cross on your head. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in other tongues. Come on, speak in the other tongues. Hamashiach, Lion of Judah. Let's stop the music now. Pray. Pray in other tongues. I want to hear some fasting people pray. Watch this. After tonight, there are three things demons cannot do to you. Number one, number one, they cannot ignore you. Amen. Listen, for demons to even ignore you is an offense. Can you imagine a policeman standing somewhere and then they ignore the police? Number two is mockery. So being ignored, being mocked, and being tortured, these three things. Demons cannot ignore you, they cannot mock you, and they cannot torture you. Lift up your hand and say, after tonight, after tonight, demons cannot ignore me. Demons cannot, demons cannot torture me. Demons cannot, and demons cannot mock me. Demons in the name of Jesus. Demons in the name of Jesus. After tonight, after tonight. Demons, 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 devils, devils the devil, the devil, devil Satan, Satan, Lucifer, Lucifer cannot ignore me. Cannot they, ignore they cannot me. torture me. They cannot, and they they cannot mock me. They they cannot in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say after tonight. After tonight. Demons, demons, principalities, principalities, powers, powers. They will recognize. They will recognize the anointing, the anointing, and the grace, and the grace on my life. On my life. And they cannot, and they cannot ignore me, ignore me, mock me, mock me, or torture me, or torture me. Amen. 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 Now lift up those hands. When the anointing comes upon you tonight, those are the three things. Amen. Come on. Shut they up. cannot ignore. Yes, Lord. Can you put it on the screen for me? They cannot ignore. They cannot ignore. They cannot ignore me. They cannot ignore me. They cannot mock me. They cannot mock me. And they cannot 
torture. They cannot torture me. Yeah, me. Those are the three things. Demons, they cannot mock. I beg your pardon. They cannot ignore. They cannot mock. They cannot torture. Many of us fall under one of these category. Either they are mocking us, they are ignoring us, or they are torturing or tormenting us. They cannot ignore, they cannot mock, they cannot torture. They cannot ignore, they cannot mock, they cannot torture. Amen. They cannot ignore, ignore. they cannot mock, they, they cannot, cannot torture. torture. They cannot ignore, they cannot mock, they cannot touch, they cannot ignore, they cannot mock, they cannot touch. Amen. If you are here and either the demons are ignoring you completely, oh, you go to family meetings. When you speak, they ignore you as if nobody's talking. Because the witches have hijacked the whole place. Oh, they mock. They are laughing at you. Where is your God? Must say your business, it could be beer, and they are just mocking. Or a torture after tonight's anointing, demons cannot ignore, they cannot mock, and they cannot torture. And if you are standing here or you are online. And you say, I catch that anointing. I catch that anointing. When we start praying, I want you to just come to me and, and prophet. Either of us will lay hands on you. Father, we pray that when this oil comes upon us, demons cannot ignore. <laughs> they cannot mock. And they cannot torture us. Lift up your voice and pray. Shabakata Sudara Katalishia Zipa Kabo Shabbat Asura Sukara no Satan You said that something was happening Come to us I have only 15 minutes For this phase of the ministry After 15 minutes We will shut the door Lipa Kapa Lipa
not see the danger but they ignore you to take over when they ignore you it means they want to take over the other thing is that when they ignore you nothing happens no nothing good will happen if the demons ignore you because when they ignore you you will never play a role in the system ah, they cannot ignore you Under the sound of our voice, who has been ignored by demons, I pray. Anybody who demons have denied, denied a role, take your hand, touch your hand. Take it. have ignored from today you will be so dangerous they cannot ignore you look at these four ladies standing here lift up your hand come on take it all four receive it in the name of Jesus you cannot be ignored come on take it one two three four now let go take it 
Bring them to me. Bring them to me. Too many believers are ignored. Ah! Anybody under the sound of my voice who has been ignored? I see three people over here right now. I see a light shine on you. And I hear his voice. You cannot be ignored. One, two, three. Now, take it. Ah! 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 Da, 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 da. I hear a very loud shout in the realm of the spirit. Somebody shout loud 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 shout Listen And when we shout the glory of God tabernacled in this place. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, take it. Ah. Glory of God tabernacled. Ah. Ah. Somebody screaming again. You cannot ignore. You cannot ignore. Yeah. Listen, prophet, prophet. I don't know about you, but me, they ignore me every time. What I hate is when I travel and I go through security at the airport and the security people touch my body and nothing happens to them you know how many times I prayed that prayer when they touch my body I I'm like I didn't think of ignore anointing sir. man of God can you imagine I go through one airport. I pass through machine. Me. Machine has cleared me. What will this your ugly hands do? And it's okay, sir. Almost start here and a pine. 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 Listen, all you hear is this. All you hear is this. Hey man, he got he got some metal. He got he got some metal in the body. Metal. He got, he got. Hey man, what, what are you have in your body? I said nothing. It take me to scanning machine. I mean, I've never had accident with metal in my body. Nothing. What was that? Why are you falling? I said, if the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in me, that raised up Jesus from the dead shall quicken my mortal body by his spirit. And, and, and Martin, Martin, I tell you the truth. Anytime I walk through that thing and I finish, I say, Eradi da bain. Da bain! Say, man of God, body, and you're different from the other bodies now. Can you imagine I go to the hospital and the doctor says, please, unbelieving doctor, Ebi Abroni, can I check your neck? Bam! Sir, what did you do to me? <laughs> then I'll tell him, when unclean hands come in contact with the holy body, oh, come on, clap your hands and scream! Mataka, mataka, mataka. Yeah. Listen in the spirit, and I'm telling you, when we 
shouted. I saw five chairs. Hold it. I saw five chairs. And I saw five men dressed like these people that wear tunics. Some of the Arab countries. Five men were sitting on those chairs and they got up. Ran out of the room. And I saw another five men who were wearing something that looked like track suit sit on the chairs. And the Spirit of God said to me, they have ignored you and kept you out of the door for many years. There are five people under the sound of my voice. Some people will recognize you. They will get up from a chair and they will say you should come and sit in that chair. I declare to them, now watch this, in that chair, you are supposed to sit on. I declare the chair vacant. I declare the chair vacant. I declare that chair vacant. They are rising up from that chair. And you are sitting on the chair. Come on, shout like your voice is yours. And press. the chair vacant and by the oil you carry today you are going to sit in that chair can you shout the loudest shout and praise God And I said, Lord, what is the sign of the anointing? He said, you see five of them running. You see five of them running. I said, where are they running to? He said, they are running to sit in their chair. One, two, three, four, five. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of God fall on them. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, just watch them touch them at once until you see them running you will see five people running bring them to me something is happening to them they are running to occupy their chair they are running to occupy their chair they are running to occupy their chair the anointing of God is upon them come on move take your position move take your position I declare the chair vacant and you are running to take your position you are running to take your position that power of God is upon you right now in the name of Jesus right now look Look at her. Bring them to me. Chief. Ah. Somebody shout like your voice is yours. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Ah. There are still three of them. One, two, three. Take it. Receive it. There are still three of them. Three of them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I challenge your spirit. I challenge your spirit. I challenge your spirit. I challenge your spirit. Look at it. Watch it. Look at it. Leave him. Watch it. I see the continent of Africa. I see one human being 
running in that map of the continent of Africa. And the Lord said, in the whole of Africa, there will be only one like your type. I pray now, the Spirit of God is upon that person, online and in person. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Come and take it. Somebody shout at the arrival of the person. Shout at the arrival of the person. In the name of Jesus. Scream at the arrival of the person. is a bad thing, oh my friend. Some children mocked at Elijah. When they mocked at Elijah, he commanded bears, bears to kill them. Mockery. Ah, you don't mock you again. Oh. Look at that lady in the corner. Mockery is over. 
freedom from mockery. Leave her. Take it. Leave her. Uh, look at three of you. No more mockery. One, two, three. Take it. And I hear the voice of the Lord tell me, people online and in this house, they are going to shine like, look at these three ladies, they are shining. Ah! six people shining here one two three six take it now receive it they are shining like a light they can walk no 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 you cannot be walked look at you you cannot be walked it's not possible it is not possible they walk why are they not married why don't they have children why are they not prospering why are they not breaking through I hear the Lord say the mockery is over. Now. Father, give me the four of them here right now. One, two, three, four. Right now. He said the mockery is over. One, two, three, four. Take it. Bring him to me. Bring me that person. There are three more. Bring me this one here. There are two more. Bring them to me quickly. They are standing right here. The Lord said the mockery is over. 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 Bring them to me. Bring them to me. There is a fourth one. Ah. Take it. Somebody shout the shout of victory. Ah. Come on, scream. I heard a word in the spirit. I heard a word in the spirit. And the word said the prophecy has come to pass. <laughs> Prophet. They've been laughing at them that and come shall you them. And the demons have made it impossible for the prophecy. Then I heard the prophecy has come to pass. Take it. The prophecy has come to pass. Somebody's prophecy has come to pass. If you can shout, that is your prophecy. Somebody's prophecy online. Somebody's prophecy in house has come to pass in the name of Jesus. Yeah! Oh, lift up your hands. the spirit when you are ministering sometimes you go three three minutes ahead of the people sometimes ten minutes ahead of them right now I just went two minutes ahead of them and I saw some people clapping <laughs> no what stop 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 this one. stop this one. you see we're shouting but I hear people clapping and the spirit of the Lord said to me the mockery has stopped nobody is celebrating them but they're about to celebrate themselves. No, no. Just, just lift up your hands. But I heard them clapping their hands. Don't clap your hands on your own. The spirit will clap your hands. Look at one day. Bring it to me. Look at one day. Bring them to me. They are not doing this in the flesh. No, it's in the spirit. Listen, I declare to you to celebrate yourself. I declare to you in the spirit to celebrate yourself I see no less than 30 people celebrating themselves some of them online some of them in person they are celebrating themselves and the spirit of the Lord is saying to me the power of the devil over their life is broken and they are celebrating themselves Leave her, let her enjoy herself take it Ashes, you see anybody clapping their hands? Bring them to me here. It is not in the flesh. 
it is happening in the spirit i went two minutes ahead of the church i went two minutes ahead of the people in the realm of the spirit and i saw it Uh, look at it look at it look at look at this one celebrating herself look at her celebrating herself look at her you would think she just ran a race and won the race can you put a camera on this celebration for me it's a serious celebration it's a serious celebration come and pick her on the camera for me somebody scream like a ministry to you right now that celebration and look at that celebration where is my camera look at that celebration look at that one glory 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 somebody your celebration your marriage is now your children are born barrenness is broken look at that one dancing look at the celebration on the ladies here the three of them it's a spiritual celebration. Oh glory, 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 glory. Somebody began to celebrate now. They can look at the celebration. Look at the celebration. Look at the celebration. Are you here with us? Something is happening. Are you here with us? Something is happening. People are healed people are delivered people are broken through something is happening look at the celebration here look at the celebration here he fills our mouth with laughter our tongue with a song dancing in our feet dancing on our feet dancing on our feet come on come on come on come on now lift up your voice and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Yeah! I see a lot of prophetic signs. But this one, I just saw people counting money. Now watch me. Watch me. In the next 47 seconds, you see people moving their hand as if they are counting some piece of paper. Some just entered financial breakthrough. In the midst of a dangerous economy yesterday a businessman sat in front of me in the night i asked him i said the cd and the dollar what is it doing to you he said reverend nothing i said has it affected your business he said i'm rather getting more money i asked him the question three times he said reverend before this thing came, I was already dealing in dollars. It doesn't die anything to me. I'd rather have advantage. I see people. God told Abraham, he said, Abraham, get up and walk the length and the breadth of this land. I give it to you. So sometimes, spiritual gestures, like lifting up the hand, walking, like bowing the knee, they have got symptoms. They have got, they, have, they are symbols with meanings. You will see some people counting something. Or opening something like a book or pages. When you see them doing that, they are opening a checkbook. When you see them counting something, they are counting their money. I pray in the next 15 seconds that anointing is upon you in the name of Jesus. Enter the realm of your prosperity. Some of them are online. That anointing has fallen on them. Some of them are in here, in person. That anointing has come upon them. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now, watch this. If you are standing anywhere, you, your hands are moving by themselves as if they are opening a page or they are counting something like money. Start coming to me here quickly because the ushers may not see you. Ah! Ah! Look at that young man. Can the camera get to that, those fingers? Can the camera pick, pick those fingers? Hey, Papa, we see can baby, baby, Papa. They wear all kinds of things with I pray you will 
will not go through shame. I said, you will not go through shame. I see 12 people. They are standing at the gate. The gate opened and prosperity fell on them. Let this anointing fall on them. And I see them counting. I see them counting. I see them counting. Receive it. Look at it. Look at their hands. Receive it. Take it. Oh, where there? Makola Sikani. In the name of Jesus. This one, uh, this one is Timba Monio. Timba. Receive it. Look at this man. Look at this man. Their hands are calling for the money and the finances, and it's coming. And all shall follow my fingers. Now, take it. Somebody shout a loud shout. Those of you online, follow the administration. You see, listen, what I'm simply doing is following where the spirit is leading me. Look, this lady, you told you I know one of them. The one in the army green is on you. Take it. Oh, Jesus, come on. Take it. Right now. Right now. Right now, I think you are a little woman. Nothing is going to happen to you. Come on, take it right now. In the name of Jesus. And I saw five people. And they started coming to me right now. And the Lord said, unknown prosperity. Unseen prosperity. Unseen riches. Like they've never known. Father, bring me the five. And he said, all the five are coming to me at once. One, two, three, four, five. Now. Like your voice is yours. Pray. In the name of Jesus. your right hand the oil we put on your head I want you to take your hand and put it in contact with where we laid our hands on touch where we laid hands on Jesus Jesus look at it they laid their hands on their head and the Lord said they have put gold on their head they put gold they have put gold on their head. They have put gold on their head. They have put gold on their head. Online, do the same thing. You just put gold on your head. Online, you just put gold on your head. In America, in Britain, wherever you are, you just put gold on your head. In the name of Jesus, you just put gold on your head. Take it. Listen, there is nothing which makes people mock you like poverty. Oh, and here one grow for me, sir. Take it. And here one grow for me, sir. My hand. Four of you, take it. One, two, three, four. Take it. Let it go. And here one grow for me, sir. My hand. Receive it. Come on, take it. Yeah. Oh, where's your mother? Come again. Come to me. Are you a student? Where? Let go. Oh. Look at me. 
The Lord just told me you will help your mother a lot. What does she do? Hmm? What does your mother do? Hey, mommy, I want I want 10 people to give me 100 Ghana cities. This is 200. What is mommy? Ain't it boami boami heradi yeswe Mi ye omoa Say say de mi ye omoa Boami o boami o Boami boami heradi yeswe Mi ye omoa Say say de mi ye omoa All right, now listen the rest of you, just put it on the altar. Now, gentlemen, bring me your own. What does he do? He sells trousers. Trousers. Why you know her? Which of you is older? Eh, I will margin kwa. Na wodi meni lado ni ma yarisa.
somebody, somebody even give me hundred dollar. Oh, mommy. Here are the same. Which of you is older? You are the younger. You are the same. Oh, mommy, we are I'm not a prophet like Prophet Nasser, but believe what I'm telling you. Come on, I'm a young boy, Pano. What a young boy, Pano. Abraham, you're your bata. Your anointing just pulled me like that. <laughs> my wife, my wife's father comes from Obomi, and the mother is from Ediamo. So I am a Kwau by marriage. Tell me, are you ready? Lady Bayana. She's like. Her mother was like a sister to me. We grew up together in 441 here in Accra. But I gave her 2000 And I said, the mother is late. So I said, give a thousand to your auntie. We keep that. Oh. She, she worked all the money. And that is because. The, the, the auntie called me yesterday and said she needed money to go to hospital. And I couldn't tell her, I told your niece to bring you a thousand. And then I make a person, okay. Gary, and your girl, you, Gary. And she, the auntie is going to add her. Oh, yes, okay. Why I'm telling you this, that I'm going to put this in your hand. You will divide it exactly in two. In two. In proper English, you say you are dividing it in two. When it is more than two, then you say into three, into four. You are dividing it in two. Then you give half to your mother. I don't know how much it is, but I can see it's quite plenty. Or you have something like this in your dormitory. You have enough money like you have money, plenty like this in your dormitory. You haven't handled money like this for a long time. Never. Never. <laughs> Prophet, you see, when I minister and I enter this realm, oh, the people that are in the room, I leave them cry and I'm far away. And I'm hearing voices and seeing things. 
Na bibia mi gina no sesia. O we de de de. Listen. It's almost as if the force of gravity is not working there. Hearing voices. And all the voices are voices of hope. You divide it in two. This dollar. For your big sister. Have you had dollar before? Long time ago. I see this dollar. Sometimes dollar even know who costs a sign. On my country said 2009, not 2000 BB, and to a Monday. And no, but it's torn a little bit. So banks are not almost chill. And to a Monday. And to me. One award dollar over quite a blue tree, but you have a very neat dollar without blemish. Can you bring me hundred? And I'll I'll turn into Forest Bureau. Who is a mobile Forest Bureau in this room? But remember, President Nanado will get you. Have you checked whether it is two thousand? Oh, you two you brought me some. But your own, I won't give you back. Because the one I've given it already. So you keep your own. Because if you give it to me, I won't give it to you. Okay, you bring it. You've come to test. Keep this. And then you two. Dollars. Then now. See this one. Divide it into half should go to your mother. It's a modi commando. Not on one casa. But don't go and sing song and deceive her. You give her the thing that finishes that sweet mother. I don't go forget you for this suffer way you suffer for me, sweet mother, sweet mother. Oh, hey, oh. And this one starts shouting. If I no sleep, my mother no go sleep. If I no eat, my mother no go eat. He no go tired, sweet mother. I no go forget this suffer way you suffer for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet mother. Remember my mother who passed. It me and Tammy Powell. So let me celebrate my mother's life while she was alive. under the sound of my voice today. May your children take mockery and torture out of your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for any child under the sound of my voice 
who wants to rescue your mother and your father and your aunties from shame from reproach may god give you the anointing you will put laughter in the mouth of your mother in the mouth of your father in the mouth of your family in the name of jesus amen Divide it into half should go to your mother. Half. Even if one CD is the difference, turn it into 50 pesos, 50 pesos. If the odd number must have an advantage for one, let it go to your mother. And if your mother has pity on you and says, keep this one, tell her, Mama, add it to your charcoal money. And tell her, a preacher and the children of God put this money in your hand. And they said, the mockery is over. Yeah. So you give half to your mother. Which school do you go? Huh? Legon. 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 I thought you said Eho. You know, when I'm home eh, and I'm very happy, the people in the house will be there and they will hear me make Eho! Eho! And they don't know what that noise is. So they should ask me, what noise is this? Eho! And I told them the story. There, there was a mad woman in Boga when I was a child. <laughs> She'll be walking about in the hotel and be shouting, Ew! <laughs> but why am I also saying, Me, I'm a crazy preacher. Me, a madman, no difference. This thing they do now, you don't be crazy. Why they preach out there, they stop. You don't collect money, give. You don't be crazy. You don't be crazy. I like your beard. Four days ago, I was telling mommy I want to keep a beard. <laughs> it will be fine. I'll become a prophet. <laughs> prophet like this, I think it will fit you. Novel beard. <laughs> you are correct. So, you divide it into half to your mother. Half to. You said you are in Lego. What year? I'll be in level 300 next year. Level 300. Yeah. And you? I'm a nurse. You are a nurse, so you are working. Yes, please. So, you divide it. And when you divide it, the half will be yours. And you give some to your sister. And you know another good news. From now, me and this man will pay your fees until you finish. Hey. Show mercy. Is that what is coming?
My brother has been unemployed for seven years. Come again. My brother has been unemployed for seven years, and then my mom has been taking care of him after him. So my mom planned on sending him to abroad, and she she paid hundred and fifty thousand. That was June, and they have been trusting him. So it was just yesterday they called me to send another ninety four million. My mom was having that; she was just having sixty sixty thousand on here. She just gave it, and then it was my brother's friend who helped him. But since then, I've been praying out, oh God, I know you are going to the favor locate my family. The rest of the one who started I know you are going to pay it for me. I didn't know how I was going to come back. Daddy, please, God bless you. I didn't know how I was going to come back. Even I didn't know how I was going to see you. I didn't know how I was going to see you. God bless you. She didn't know how she was going to go to school. Because they've used all the money on the brother. No more mockery. Touch her life. You have shown me mercy. Now, when we close, talk to him. Give him your name, give him your number. How he can find you. He and these two ladies, Daphne and Nicola. Then, the rest of your education. understand miracles but if you are an invited preacher from Bogatanga and you rather come to Accra and you are paying school fees it's a miracle yeah. you understand what I'm saying I want everybody tonight who can give an offering of not less than 100 Ghana cities and believe God that you are entering a harvest in this season. Put it on the altar. Some of you, maybe it's a thousand, maybe it's 500. And, and you know what, people? These kind of things like what we are doing right now, that is what the offerings in the ministry do. Come on. You know what? I told prophet today, listen to me, put up the instrument. I told prophet today, I said, prophet, whenever I come here, I'm just challenged. How did you do this? I told him, I said, man of God, you just said you are 50 years. But I think you are 150. <laughs> I told him, I said, man of God, if they give protest to the government of Ghana to break, build, they'll break sweat. You've done it in how many years? Seven. Seven. No, 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 listen. Even if God is an earthly contractor, that is the only time you can imagine this. This is one ministry where when you come and you are giving an offering, you have to complain. Today I was talking to Reverend Steve Mensah. He said, Thank Prophet Nanasai for me. Reverend Steve Mensah is going to do a, pro, a crusade in Keta. I'm one of the speakers. Myself, Pastor Matthew Achimolo, and then Pastor Steve himself and others. And I'll be in Keta for that crusade. He said, Prophet Nanasai and his ministry have donated 1,000 mattresses towards that crusade. <laughs> and then he mentioned some other financial contribution. Porters has made towards the, the crusade. And he told me, he said, thank the prophet for me. Thank the prophet for me. This is one ministry you give an offering. You don't have to complain. Give it joyfully. Can you do that tonight? Get up and do it. Some of you are watching me online. Do it. Sowing a seed in a good place, 
woman gave me a testimony to the prophet i couldn't believe it she said she was trying to do her business and she was going to do business in tiles she brought her first container she was sitting in the church the lord said take the whole container and give it to the church she was only about 35 years old she went to the pastor she said i'm bringing container of tiles the pastor said what work do you do she mentioned the work she was doing but she said god said i should bring all these tiles she told me she said reverend that is where I, that is why we are where we are today because god has blessed them somebody pick up that offering now everybody take your offering even if yours is one city do it those of you that are online do your offering hey you look Last week, I asked our, our members a question. I said, how many of them have bought cement over the past three weeks? Almost every hand was down because they hadn't bought cement. Then I asked them, but how many of you have heard that the price of cement has increased? They all lifted their hand. So I said, something you didn't buy, how do you know it has increased? That means you are using hearsay to run your life. Let me do something I'm led to do now and I'll close the service. Can I have some envelopes? I just want some people who between now and tomorrow night will sow a seed of 700 Ghana cities. 700 is a very interesting thing.
thing to be asking somebody to do. But that's what I feel in my heart. I sense that in my spirit. Between now and tomorrow, 100 people sow that seed. Between now and tomorrow, come to me. Come to me quickly. Let me do it and go and sit down. Of course, if you decide to make it a thousand, that is fine. But the seven hundred. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. I'm the one that you have shown me mercy. You have shown me on your head. Thank you, Lord. Put your hands on your head. Carry gold. Carry silver. Carry gold. Carry silver. Carry gold. Carry silver. I'm waiting for 30 people. Come to me. This is one. 29. Hurry up and come to me. Hurry up and come to me. There are times you receive all the oil on your head. But when it comes to the right place, you will miss it. Come. Some instructions are very simple. Two words. Wonderful. Can we hurry? Let me put the envelope in my in a hand myself. Bring it to me. Let me give it to her. Lady, thank you. Abrantia, Radin Shirao. Somebody lift up your hand and I want you to talk to God. I want you to talk to God. If you want a place, 17, if you want a place where you should give an offering and you are not giving it out of sympathy, it is Porter's City. An offering you give out of sympathy is called arms. The one you give because of conviction is called a seed. When you come to Porter City, you will never give to this place out of sympathy. Because you say everything is here. And that is the one they call a seed. I'm left with seven, 17 of these envelopes. My culture is never to put them down. But as soon as the envelope enters my hand, it belongs to somebody. But I still want somebody to come for one of these seven. Seventeen. Maybe you came already. You can still come until every one of these envelopes disappears from my heart. And somebody that is watching us online, join us to do that thing. I'm still waiting for somebody. All the seventeen disappear from my heart. Some of you will come to me. We'll take two of them. Some of you will come to me. We'll take three of them. 
until all 15 that are left disappear. And I know they will disappear. Uh, thank you, sir. Two. Okay. Can we hurry? He that regards the wind observe the cloud will not sow and will not reap. You haven't bought cement, but you know the price has increased. You have not bought iron rod, but you know the price has increased. You don't have a car, but you know the price of gallop. You know gallop. I, I agree if you know taxi fare and throttle fare. But if you have not bought a car, you don't have a car, how do you know petrol price? Some of you know GDP, but you are not an economist. Rate of inflation. Some of you know it by heart. More than even the mathematics paper you are going to write. Now, mass how control will fail and so need GDP. Three more. How many of you enjoyed your service? And I may ban my press serious. My prayer, prayer. But my bro, Bogatanga and then cry and quine. And ya grow. Quine you was so sa. Burga, 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 sa. Rabbish run. Ain't he boami, boami, ready as we. of God will recognize you. Amen. I will show you how the angel will stand by you and because of you your people cannot perish. Your business, your ministry, your household, your ministry. It was Paul who said the angel of the Lord whose I am and whom I said stood by me last night to be something. That ship, that family, that ministry, that business, that thing you are in and it's about to collapse, the angel of the Lord will locate you, yeah. recognize you, and stand by you, and the thing will not go down. For your sake, a family will not go down. 
for your sake a ministry will not go down for your sake a business will not go down for your sake a nation will not go down he said and if I go to Sodom and Gomorrah and I find 20 righteous men 10 righteous the city will not go down for your sake Africa will stand, Ghana will stand your nation will stand your business will stand I want to challenge you that when we finish this meeting go to the book stand and pick up any book especially if you see that the title is Explosion Explosion and explode our just buy them, read them Father, bless this offering touch your people's lives glorify your name in Jesus name, Amen can I have this? Where is the towel I used? Give it to me. Eh? There is a special order for this towel. Uh, let me keep it until I'm going home. The Lord bless your life. Amen. Martin, you are a good man. When I remove the shirt, I will give it to you. When I go there, I'll remove it. You like it? Even if it's not nice, it's nice. <laughs> now we shall share it here. Yeah. You'll be located by angels. <laughs> and Albert, because of the way you are clapping, I'll give you the t-shirt. Look at the way some of you are clapping. There's nothing left. Prophet, and then you're all night into my poem. Let me show Oh, wow.